the following contest is a no holds barred match that is for the worldwide wrestling heavyweight championship The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back and ready to stake his claim atop WWE. Corey, I will never forget the night that you and I had the opportunity to call this man's amazing return to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment, if there ever was one. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The longest reigning champion in history. The man who sold out the world's most famous arena 187 times. Looks like he sold out this place too, Corey. The pride of Italy, perhaps the greatest pro wrestler of all time. Well, Michael, I think his championship reigns certainly back up that claim. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! And his opponent from Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the worldwide wrestling heavyweight champion, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. The classic worldwide wrestling title about to be contested. Some of the earliest champions in WWE history held this very title, and now it's back up for grabs. The Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Championship would fit right in an art museum, but one lucky superstar will call it their own tonight. Bruno steers clear of that. Nasty-looking inverted suplex. Able to get out of the way. Piercing. 
A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. And there was some force on that move. Oh, new champ! Instant kick out from the champion. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. to turn things around. And set right into the corner. Oh, oh knee to the breadbasket. Running knee! Boom! Oof! Touch! Nasty! Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. Heads out of the ring. What's next? With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. What's he open to find down there? A hockey stick? Uh, I see. He does not just want to hurt the competition. He wants to embarrass them. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Big back body drop. Why elevation? The challenger is not in a great place. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. And Bruno is maintaining the edge of this one. San Martino just smothering his opponent with offense. Disrupts the attack 
with an elbow to the gut. There he goes, right into the corner. This won't end well. And he's able to counter. Cody Rhodes has his opponent right where he wants to go. There's Crossroads. The champ Osmond blazed over for the win. Not even a two count. What unbelievable power. Cody Rhodes going to fly through the air. Cody Connor. Cover instantly he has his shoulders up. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Rhodes looking to end this. Resilience of a champion on display. Rhodes hoped for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Yeah. Kicks directly to the chest. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Oh my god, superhuman power. The official asking him is that's it out. That's it. Here is your winner, and still, the Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the first superstar, Bruno San Martino. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.